What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Spain. So to pick up where we left off, we are driving our dagger hard into the heart of the French by securing Philadelphia and this is part of our... Oh no, sorry, we're not attacking, we're defending. <laughs> my mistake. That's even better though because it means we can wear down their garrison before the final attack. So if you guys don't remember, the French failed to back us when their treacherous ally or protectorate Louisiana declared war on us and we take, took that as causus belly or belli or whatever and we, we had a couple of stacks in the Americas and we had Boston which is a pretty good army a pretty good army recruitment base so we're using that to uh, expand the Americas so without further ado let's defend um, against the forces of the French because yeah they didn't back us. It was a bit of a perfect storm. We had a fully recruited Spanish army near Paris, which wasn't protected. And we had a couple of other armies up near up in England that could land and we could potentially wipe the French out really quickly. So that's part of the reason why I'd be very keen to take Philadelphia is because I fear if we knock out the French, then Philadelphia may become the United States. It's not a problem because we'll just declare war on them and kill them. But I'd rather not have the bother. I'd rather own the territory myself. So let's split up our army because we're gonna. We may potentially have a few pestery, pestering units coming in from multiple directions. So keep these guys limbered up. Put our grenadiers on one flank. Our Studias regiment, regiments on the other flank. Got plenty of melee infantry here. So if we get surprised, we can always just charge. Ah, you guys have guns. Good stuff. Split the cavalry up on each flank. Again, the conquistadors turn off their muskets or their carbines. I so don't want them shooting their own friends. I mean, not that I need any help committing fratricide. I just I need to take steps to make it not as easy. I mean, the mortars can't fire. My artillery get to work on the wall. These guns can unlimber. My howitzers just are firing round shot. Although they're not. It must be those must be misses from the um, from the field artillery engaging. Are you guys shooting? No, you guys. Your orders are to attack the uh, the wall, because if if they decide to run around here and be up to no good we want to be able to uh, march in and take the city so we do have colonial light general's bodyguard okay now actually don't don't charge out there they've got mortars why give them an easy opportunity to get some cheap kills against your good cavalry well i might have my conquistador have their uh, carbines ready to go There we go, now my, my howitzers are now getting a target. But it looks like they are going to come after us, so... It's a Studias regiment. Ooh, hello, native Bowman Auxiliary. My light horse can go after the colonial... No, nope, see my... Conquistadors were about to shoot at the enemy. So let's line my conquistador up. Carbines ready. <laughs> Enemy general knocked out in the first volley. Attack and destroy his staff. My infantry are going to clear out. Clear out these native bowmen auxiliary because Asturias, the Asturias regiments they are foot guard units so they are significantly better in all domains well yeah they've got slight no they actually they have less ammunition than a regular line infantry unit that's interesting 
because that then suggests that you don't want them well in a fort battle or in a river crossing battle say they'll run out of ammo fast and i did see someone teleport there General's bodyguards are outing, but the general's been killed anyway. Did the mortar crews abandon their guns? No, they didn't. So we want to be careful about pushing up. It looks like that's their objective, though. They really want to get involved in a cavalry scrap. So the conquistador advance... Carbines ready. Let's keep my general back out of the way. <laughs> they beat the mounted tribal auxiliary. They are routed. This unit of light cavalry must come back. They've only lost two men. Ooh, I might have got that in just in time. Yeah, they came back. As you'd expect, to be honest. They've not... That's not a lot of men to lose. Waters are still... garrisoning their guns. And my howards are still firing... round shots. Let's switch them to carcass shots. You guys are attacking the, uh, the cavalry. Go on then. Charge my conquistador. They'll give you a volley. My conquistadors are there and I've got a unit of Swiss pikes just sat here. Fire! I'm coming around to this sort of skirmish cavalry. It's, it's, it's not bad as long as you're not... If you're not a dummy with it. Seems like quite a handy way of farming kills with your cavalry without less, without much risk. And they're really good at weakening enemy cavalry formations that cur that have no um, range component. I mean, the mortars are still manning their guns, which is admirable. You fired into the flank of the garrison line. So you can dismount them, and you can mount them, but it's almost kind of like, why would you do that? Doesn't it make just constantly more sense to just keep them mobile? Let's advance you guys up to engage the colonial light. You men blast these line infantry, your former friends and allies, the dogs that dominate the continent, that steal your birthright. Yeah, carcass shot rolling in. You guys attack the square formation, because who doesn't like shooting the bejesus out of a square formation? You guys actually go to round shot, get back to work on the wall. The 76, they're doing some excellent work against the enemy here. 48, they fired their volley. Nope, and that's that. Like I said, honour has been satisfied. I don't want to push this wing up too much, because I don't... I, I want to open a way... Charge the native bowman auxiliary. I want to create a access point for my cavalry to be able to just run in and attack the mortars. Yeah, you're sensing an easy kill. 
And you sense wrong, because I've... He's a goddamn conquistador. Let's bring my pikes into the action, because they've got nothing to do. These guys can pivot. Soon, the way will be open. I wonder if this is a general we haven't killed yet. I hope so. Yeah, the mortars are going. They're attacking here, I suspect. So who's that? Yeah, the foot, foot artillery is coming out. So who's that? Colonial line infantry. Native bowman auxiliary. Let's just make our way in. Yeah, mortifier's probably going against my Swiss pikes. They oh, lovely carcass shot there. Yep, yeah, the uh, 76th. Ah, they are now getting engaged. Previously, they weren't. One more volley of fire against the fort, and then the way will be open. So let's get my. Okay, I think that's going to. The wall has been broken down, so let's get some hussars in there to knock out the artillery. So the centre of my line's taking a bit of a hammering. But not as much of a hammering as their forces have gotten. Very well. So let's begin. What are you trying to do, eh? Pop you guys into square just to stop you from doing anything silly. There you go, we're gonna run around all these these chaps and run in, kill the mortars. we want is you to hit this infantry conquistadors run around you after the native bowman auxiliary that's what I'd like to see kill the mortar garrison just to make sure they are dead and I'm fairly sure one of these well the mortars are probably the general no they aren't well actually there's there's three armies there was the main army then there was the two reinforcing armies, so that could be their captain. No, <laughs> guess not. There we go, let's commit my general to the main engagement. Because he's now able to chase down some of the enemy. So these elite regiments can chase down the Mount Tribal Auxiliary. We've got one more infantry unit out there and a unit of cannons. You guys go off the 12 pounders. All my artillery pretty much just cease fire. Just go chase down some uh, some French swine, I think. So let's speed up time. my pikes inside, push my infantry up to fight this last colonial line unit. It looks like... Ah, I see. I got it's way too carried away there. Fall back. So 
So who have they got? Royal Escossais, Ottawa Scouts and Colonial Lion. Well, my Hussars can still carry on with the engagement because they'll beat the Tribal Auxiliary when they get into action with them. This elite infantry will surely get the best of the Colonial Line here. If I keep an eye on you, you guys can actually knock out this French line unit, because you've also got an artillery piece over there to take out. So Philadelphia, again, would be another very useful territory to capture because it would give us another major recruitment centre. Just face the tribal auxiliary because it looks like they are coming for us. Fired a volley into my hussars, they've even the numbers up. So let's get these guys to just march around. The Ottawa Scouts have got their first volley off. My units can push around the flank. The Tribal Auxiliary are going down because they are very much, well, they're auxiliary. And the general's been killed. I'm not sure where exactly. Oh, it was the um, the gunners. Yeah, you could go after them. There's only one unit there in the 53rd. Oh well. Actually, you guys may as well try get the 77th. Our general and these conquistadors may as well make their way around the flanks. So you go after the 51st. You guys aren't actually getting involved, so let's push you up. And the 12th Grenadier Regiment here isn't wasn't getting stuck in in the action. If you assume that's a given. Okay, let's get you over here. By the time they're in position, I'm assuming that original force would have been destroyed. The 51st, well, the 48th may escape. The 51st could still, because there's a cluster of them here. Okay, there we go. That spells their doom. They stopped. Okay, here we go. You chase down the Escossais with my chase down the Escossais on my general's bodyguard. Okay, you knock them out. So get you guys back here as well. My heavy cavalry have got. They've caught up to the seventy-seventh. They might not kill them. I mean, you're, you're going to fire a volley off because I made, I, I've ordered you to. But you are going to fire ordinarily. I'm right. We're going to continue. I mean, you guys aren't going to get to do anything. I'm just going to make you run over here quickly. They're they're going to go. I mean, I may as well make that unit try chase them down. Just in case, because there's only one of them. Nah. No chance. The Ottawa Scouts have spread out quite well. So they'll need most of the cavalry. And then maybe my first horse guards might be here to clear out, help clear out the 64th Regiment, although... I mean, we're not short of a... Uh, assets to do that. Come on, it's one one Frenchman. 
Close victory. That wasn't close. That was a delightful slaughter. Yeah, look at that. They've got a thousand men remaining, and most of those are armies that are going to run away. The garrison itself is incredibly depleted. Yeah, they're a bit more... Um... Okay, they're going to go... Ooh, if they take some new Spanish territory, that will actually be quite handy. Because we can take it back. Yeah, they're still going to hold on to Philadelphia. But yeah, we need to maintain pressure. Really maintain the pressure. So Paris, like, so Paris has been secured and it's been repaired, so Paris needs to immediately start recruiting troops. We're still at war with the Russians. They've not given up. So we still need to have some strength on the border, but fortunately it is just one small section of the border to worry about. They are funneling lots of troops into it, I do admit, but... I think we're doing good. Uh, do I want to intercept the Russians here? Probably. Let's rebuff this Russian army. Send them back to where they came from. Then we can replenish and recruit some um, supporting troops from... Um, Crimea, or to be honest, Crimea might just start recruiting line infantry anyway. Let's keep repelling them. Because the, the more damage we do to them, hopefully the more their logic will say, actually, maybe we don't want to keep fighting the Spanish. Maybe peace is okay. Quite a nice looking army here. going to be heavily heavily elite biased on the right flank so much so actually that's that's not going to work so let's take two infantry units take my wallion guard actually make a space there as well although that's no nah. this is this is the better area to hold the right the left hand side of the map so let's actually pivot you guys like so. This is going to be the centre of our line. Our Grenadiers and some expat infantry are going to make up the left wing, which is going to advance. You're going to form our right wing. With some pike support. The Tercio pikemen are going to advance up on the left wing. Well, all of our cavalry is going to be on the right, because that's where I'm anticipating the problems lying. We've got two infantry units in reserve. So, yeah, everyone's been deployed. <laughs> yeah, they're aware of it. They're aware of the challenges of this terrain. So, let's. Where's my. Pike boys? Make sure they're up there quickly. I appreciate that's a bit of a risk with my cavalry there. There they come. Pikes up front. They can clear out the 10th Regiment of Dragoons. The Moskovoski Regiment of Dragoons. The rest of my line. Ooh. Halt that plan. Bring these guns back. Hmm. So my guns are going to be at a bit of a loose end. Provincial cavalry get in there. Regiment of horse get in there. Walloon infantry form square as an anchor on the flank. 
They should have, they've just shot a bunch of their own men because the Cossacks to the rear have opened up. On this flank, their cavalry is not in a great spot because we've successfully manoeuvred to avoid them. So they have countercharged us. That's why I've got my cavalry charging in. Canister shot, focus on the incoming enemy. You guys have to really make... You guys have to pick carefully when you guys choose to push. My pike's going to crash into the rear of this combat. So we've got Provincial Cavalry, which isn't so great. But we've also got Regiment of Horse, which is pretty great. It's a pretty standard cavalry unit, but our pikes are going to tip the balance over there massively. You guys get out of square. Line infantry is now coming in. There we go. They've given up on that flank. Our cavalry... <laughs> Our flank is held. Or has held. My pikes charge down the dragoons. My infantry back here isn't going to be needed. They've got no artillery to the rear to worry about. So let's actually charge in their infantry. Charge their infantry. Charge my pikes in. So I would like to try and pivot my men here to fire more onto the flank here. Maintain the cavalry charge. There we go. So now our... You guys get out of square. Form up. here is still going quite well so now our pikes have we've now successfully mobbed their infantry here you guys form up closer to the 29th to do even more damage at close range we do need to upgrade our cavalry here because they will not be doing too well against dug in any sort of decent heavy infantry these are dragoons General's bodyguards coming over to the right flank. See, our cavalry is actually not... is actually going down pretty fast. It's our pikes that are doing the lifting here. But we need to keep them in the combat so they don't get overwhelmed. Keep the flank rolling. Be aware that, that Dragoon unit is still alive. So let's run our pikes up. The 5th Regiment, they're down to half their number. So they're being focus fired. The 23rd Regiment of Foot is quite an elite formation, it would appear. My pikes are what's holding that action together. The 29th Regiment of Foot is going down. Advance again. So that 46th Regiment there should go down. You're not actually charging anyone, so let's just get my pikes in there. This was a bit of a bit of a bust because it's it's cost me most of my light cavalry. But then again, light cavalry isn't. Yeah, light cavalry really starts to run out of use. You drop into square on the flank. They've tried to charge us in the rear, but my pikes are right here, so they're going to go down. Let's go back to my artillery. Keep attacking the 23rd. Yeah, they're holding on pretty well. Regiment of Horse break away. Nah, oh, nuts. I was hoping I could uh, use them to mop up that Cossack unit. So these Dragoons are charging on foot. Counter charge them with pikemen. 
Okay, you try to charge the Cossacks. Let's hope my pikes are enough to take out the Russians, because we do outnumber them two to one, although it's quite remarkable how well they've stuck around. Okay, so their left flank is now collapsed. All my artillery engage the 23rd. Okay, get you guys back here. Push up these guys into a new line. I mean, I did tell you to come back here. Okay, time to deploy the reserves. Pikes, go chase down the general. All of these men sends them. Well, actually, yeah, my reserves can now pick up the f pick up the slack. get these guys to both chase down the 18th. Let's give them an easy job. They've had a lot of terrible ones. Okay, looks like their cavalry is going to successfully, or well, the general is going to successfully maneuver away from us. So my artillery can focus fire them. There's a lot of dead cavalry over here, and there's a lot of dead cavalry over here. So my gun is back here. Well, yeah, the fifth. You guys... You guys deserve a break. Yeah. Let's take out... Take out the 18th. Let's give most of their other units some time to recuperate. Come on, you got a handful of guys, you can kill. I mean, he stood still, so he's gonna die. Got him. The second regiment of foot, they've stuck around very admirably. They're elite though. They've they've done some they've done some fighting. But then again, so have we. Yeah, this force has too much infantry. Great artillery shot, but I'm gonna cease fire because they might start causing me some um, friendly fire casualties later on. Go, go, Gadget Pietro! So, we can't do much damage. I might actually just group my cavalry together and have them both focus on the same unit, like this unit that's quite... It was pretty elite, even though it hadn't lost that many men, so it would be useful to destroy this elite unit of infantry. Or at least to do so much damage to it, oh, those offences, so as to it's not able to uh, ever, ever again form in such strength. So right now, as we're killing more and more men, they're, they're becoming more elite because the same amount of experience is being concentrated. But there we go. They are dead, so that's quite a costly um, lesson for the Russians. Could do with some howitzers, really. But there we go, that's the end of the Russian turn. Louisiana is on the move, so this is why we need Boston to really churn out some troops. Obviously, yeah, we are at war with Württemberg and everyone, so that's why declaring war on the French might have been a bit of a silly idea. In retrospect. So you're right next door. And that's not great. But we do have... 
Emergency reinforcement from Greenwich. Or from London. So get you guys over to Calais. Ah, that's the wrong side of the river, actually. To be honest, there is no good side of the river to get within range of supporting Paris. Unless we went on the offensive. I mean, they've got lots of cavalry, so they would go down pretty quick. So let's get you guys actually back aboard the ship. Back over to La Havre. Because then if we disembark... We can get a sloop back into Greenwich. London. I mean, yeah, they were, they were recruiting an army, but we have to send send over all those infantry quickly. And then Paris is the same. Get recruiting. It's going to be an expensive endeavour. See men push and demand the surrender of the garrison. They're not going to give it, so we are going to attack it. And you are going to go on the offensive at Brussels. We can't knock the French out because they have Strasbourg. We've got Felix down here who is... No, no, you're not taking the Dragoons. I don't need Fusiliers. Let's get another unit of... Grenadiers de Marina. Let's get you up here as well. Okay, so first of all, Grand Bahamas, the port has been blockaded. You guys replenish. So we know... We know the Louisianans are on their way. So let's send... You need a frontiersman to garrison New York. You guys, as an army, and uh, Ildefonso Mendez are ready to go. So Boston, keep recruiting. We don't have any... I mean, we know they're around here somewhere. But we can't really do anything about it. We can't really spend much of the... Much of our money here doing upgrades either. Yeah, so you're coming back to the homeland. To move the galleons out. Tangier, you may actually now have a use. So where are we sending you guys? Ah, uh, yes. We've got this French position over here now, don't we? So let's take... Hopefully you guys can't hear the fireworks. There we go. Send the galleons over there as well. 24,000. Okay, so now it's squeaky bum time. Obviously the French. I mean, it's... Uh, we'd, I'd like... Okay, let's see if the Russians will do it now. Russia. Put peace. Offer. Crimea and trade. Damn. I'm tempted to just let him have it, because this army is much more useful to me elsewhere. Sadly, we can only... We can drop them off of... The south coast. I mean, obviously they're going to get attacked by this French army, but that's okay. I don't want to move my navy because I want them to stay near the danger zone. So you guys can replenish and head towards Strasbourg. You guys haven't got the visit, haven't got the um the, mo the movement to go anywhere else. So you may as well move nearer them. Don't agree. Eh, don't agree the infrastructure yet. Let's move my militia to here. I think we might be better off letting them attack. Cause I don't think anyone else can get in. 
no one else has got the distance because this is all unpaved until they get to here because Brussels has no Brussels has no um, infrastructure so what I might do is if we fight and take Amsterdam fight and take Brussels the England is recruiting a some men Edinburgh no don't build don't do that okay I might have to knock down the Iron Master's works because I need to be ready to repair buildings in Amsterdam so let's take Amsterdam away from the French and add add it to our forces as a recruitment centre because we are going to be engaged in quite a significant battle against the the Württembergs and the um, Westphalians. That's it. I forgot about the Westphalians. But those are our targets. So as as usual, we want to be wary of our wary about taking too many casualties because this force will likely be immediately counterattacked. So we really need to take advantage of our artillery fire. We really need to clear them out. The carcass shot comes arcing in. Yeah, the mortars are a concern, but like I said, we, as you can see, we are actually out of range, so we will lose some men during the initial bombardment. But we will make a way in, and we will... Well, we've got to. We haven't got a choice. I mean, it would be lovely if we could knock out the... Uh... Actually, but while they're doing that, I might actually get my howitzers to focus on that section there, and my field artillery focusing on this section here. Because that way, is there a weird chance we can just trap them all up there? I, I mean, I doubt it, but we've got to try it, right? <laughs> Although, actually, they are starting... They are doing damage to our artillery crews, so we might be better off quick climbing... Well, carcass shotting with our howitzers and trying to do damage... As much damage as we can, because our artillery is weak is vulnerable. This, the moment, as soon as we make a breach, we really damage their ability to... Yeah, like that, there you go. So they immediately just abandon that section of the wall, so that stops them from doing too much damage to us. But if we can break our way in and quick climb most of their garrison away, we'll be in a fairly strong position, ready for any counter-attacks from... German forces, but we need to get barracks repaired and just start spamming out troops. Come on, gunners. Keep firing. Need to make a hole. The sooner we make a hole, the sooner... Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Now they're going to start garrisoning positions near the breach. Which our carcass shotting howitzers can take advantage of. Some lovely, lovely damage. But yeah, we really do want to minimise casualties because we know we're going to have a series of follow up invasions from the Germans. Because what the German factions usually do is they. they turtle and they quite clearly um, don't do anything until they fight someone then deploy their entire strength against them. So like what we've done with London like what we're doing with Paris we need to just keep numbers keep our numbers strong. Can't knock out the mortars sadly. They're going to be what causes the most issues. 
I need to get cage and you keep telling my guns to fire again. Boom. So I'm finding this on fast forward because it is just... Carcass shotting the bejesus out of them. Yep, so that unit's collapsed. Just let the artillery just keep firing nearby. But again, the hope is that we, we push up on as many flanks as possible. So when we do start taking casualties from their mortars, they are as light as could possibly be. So you guys are going to push around that flank. You guys are going to push around that flank. There you go. Push everyone up so they don't ever really get a good chance to hit anyone. And the mortars, their best effort is still going to be clearing out the breaches here to make it easier for our men to just push through. See this garrison here, actually, they, they're pretty damaged from secondary effect. But still, with six crew, they are adequately garrisoning two units. Who's the closest? You guys. Attack ground here. Yeah, they particularly hate pikemen. They always seem to go for the pikemen, no matter what they're doing. But yeah, the hope is if we get at least one of the one of the guns to start damaging this crew. But again, let's put this on fast forward time because nothing's really happening. Yeah, we are hitting the crew with attack ground orders. They're down to four crew already, so that's still going to be two guns, sadly. So let's split two units off to capture different sections of the wall. We'll get units to attack both sides of the wall so that we don't just have a bunch of units stuck fighting over the gate. We can send guys down the steps to do other stuff as well. Let's get the cavalry over near these respective breaches. No, oh, I've accidentally clicked both of you again. You guys get over here. You guys get over here. Ceasefire with my howitzers. Well, ceasefire with my field artillery. My howitzers can keep attacking, attack grounding in the center. So now it's down to the Swiss pikes. So if we're gonna if we're gonna take damage from anyone, the Swiss pikes are the ones that I want it on. Hopefully the fire damage doesn't do isn't dot damage. So the carcass shotting their own men here, which is quite handy. Yeah, they might. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Get up the walls quickly, fellas. I'm surprised these guys haven't done anything, so let's take the Swiss line, attack the garrison. You guys hunker down. And you men get up and across. You men get down off the wall. You guys get down off the wall as well. Just try and make one of these units capture a a gate. So you guys charge the firelock arm citizenry in the rear. You guys blow through. Okay, you guys take the gate then, because these guys clearly don't wanna. Good, the gate is ours. Infantry in, cavalry in. A 
Cavalry blow through. Blow through, kill the mortars, howitzers stop firing. Got the armed citizenry stuck in, in <laughs> stuck attacking being attacked on the by the rear as well. No, you guys were about to try and attack them, but don't do that. Start the ticker. Start the ticker by means of killing the mortars. Let's run a unit over here. There we go. It was only a matter of time before they started to break. And they're running through my men as well, which makes it even more delicious. So usually when they break, they break as an entire unit. So that was quite delicious. Phew. Okay, so that's Amsterdam. At least Amsterdam is fortified. We've already got some breaches. So if we get attacked from the German factions, we know where they're going to go. So how much does it take to replenish all of you? You're still trying to be replenished. You've already paid for it. So let's repair all the buildings. Let's demolish the university. The French priest works for us because we're Catholics. Getting rid of the university will fix their clamour for reform problem. And then... Right. So you're a concern. But you're depleted, but we don't know how much by... Okay, we're going to attack the garrison at Brussels because that will also knock out these two reinforcing stacks here so they can't do any much too, too much more trouble. So let's also take Brussels. And that will blow a huge hole in the French economy because uh, well, they won't have one. They won't have any they won't have anywhere to they'll well, they'll have tax income from North America, but they'll have no ports to trade from although to be honest they might not have had any anyway i mean they might have some land trade with westphalia and with Württemberg, but now they definitely won't have any sea trade routes with their um colonies so we're gonna take a bit of a cautious approach with this because we've got don't we got one unit of good cavalry militia unit that's the general so he's going to stay out of the way deploy two more elites on that flank deploy some more elites there yeah, you're with them as are you so focus Fire on the horse artillery. Although, to be honest, they've got lots of chaff. But they don't seem to be able to fire, whereas we can. How does Carcashot serve us? Pretty well. They are within range. So we're going to engage them at range with our artillery because we have the advantage. Too bad that carcass shot didn't get anyone there. It would be nice if you guys could... Okay, you guys hit the Bulkley's regiment because they are a foot guard unit. This gendarmerie going to do a suicide charge. So I like, I like charging the e units either side of the one that's being charged. I like dropping them into square as well because they'll fire across into such a engagement. So they are they're advancing because they don't have any alternative. You hit Bulkley's regiment. You guys attack ground short of the emplaced troops there. you men out of square so they can't use your formation against you I 
advance these units up to engage the 53rd 53rd in uh, infalid fire. Okay, let's get some howitzers to actually focus on knocking out some of their cavalry. Misses on the Grenadier Guard. See, that wouldn't happen with Quicklime. So the 53rd should be ousted by the infilading, infilade fire. Let's get my Royal Cuirassier Guard out on this flank. Carabiners aren't a problem. The Gendarmerie aren't a problem. The 53rd are likely not to stick with that sort of engagement because they are being shot at from the flank. Bring the heavy cavalry over. I mean, I deployed my howitzers up on the front line. That's a bit silly. Yeah, the 53rd came back. Skirmishing with the with the horse grenadier guards. Fortunately, we've got solid line infantry. The carabiner firing into my square position. So let's charge them down with our heavy cavalry. So that regiment of foot is now advancing to engage us. So let's start to break up our formation. If the gendarmerie wants to get involved, then they must have got a good volley off against our men, but we are some rock solid cavalry here. Well, the gendarmerie are going to hit our line infantry, so they will be falling fairly rapidly. The Agilvy Regiment through our positioning of troops, we're going to be hitting them from two directions at once, which is quite quite nice. Let's re position that line. You're not going to break our square. Carabiner have been broken. Charge into the rear of the gendarmerie. Nope, doesn't matter. They've routed anyway. Let's get back out of square. You guys hit the gendarmerie running around to the rear. You guys begin knocking some holes into some of these infantry units to the rear. Who are you going to shoot at? A Gilby regiment. You're being shot at from two directions. Although it's still... They're both being still being shot in the front. There we go. So back here they've got militia, garrison line, horse artillery, gendarmerie. Gendarmerie that charged in the centre, which obviously didn't work. And you're going to be doing some good damage into the, into the flank of the 61st. So the carcass shots landing, not doing quite the damage we'd like it to do. The Gilvy Regiment have come back. Yeah, they don't have the strength to, to uh, withstand us anymore there. So let's take three units. Begin to advance up the flank. We've got three units here who are well placed continue to continue the engagement in the center still got some cavalry running around drop you into square it looks like yeah they are charging yeah that's enough to Cease their charge, although they will likely try again. They did. They did charge. Very well. You men 
take position up on the hill and fire down into the militia in the town. Things are shaping up to go rather well. So you're all going to fight, yeah, you're going to fight the Regiment Etranger. The Regiment of Gendarmerie is shattered. They're not very happy at all. Likely to be increasingly so with all this artillery fire. Good kills, good kills. Okay, let's begin to advance into the town. Hopefully the 34th will both be... Hopefully they will... Well, they will be repulsed. We shouldn't waste our artillery on them. So let's advance you guys up around here. You guys up around to here. There we go. It's them taken care of. So at least by attacking the guns, we will be attacking the infantry to the rear. My Royal Cuirassier Guard haven't gotten much of a workout. Obviously my generals, or well my captain, really, he's not a general. We don't want to advance through the town directly into their line of fire. We want to s bring this unit in and these units in at the same time. So let's speed up time because nothing's really going on. There's some militia here, but they're not going to like getting shot at or artilleried. So let's get both our units. Switch to round shot. Engage the gendarmerie. Aha! Militiamen. Yeah, if we advance ahead, they've got cover. So it would be quite dangerous to push through the town when they've got clear line of sight. The sensible move is to push up on either flank and squeeze them out of their little defensive hole. So we've got the 19th, the 23rd, and the 116th ready to push. So we are taking some losses because they are. They did get the drop on us. But they are likely to uh, find. to find the, the welcome they're going to get incredibly unsatisfying. Yeah, there we go. They're already wavering. A few more volleys to come in yet. There they go. There we go. The militia have already abandoned their positions, so let's run. Run our troops in to deploy and, com and uh, do the to complete the final coup de grace. So they're there going, ha ha! So they're going to get the first volley of shots off. They've done a handful of damage, not very much at all. Whereas we have volleys ready to fire. Oh yes. Absolutely devastating fire. They're both routing. Good. And you guys up. Shoot them with your little pistols. Couple of pistol shots. Cease fire with the artillery. So, garrison militia. 
Horse artillery is a garrison unit. You're going to rout. Okay, the only thing that's worth killing is the... That's garrison line, garrison militia. And that horse artillery was a garrison unit. So there's no point fighting because all of these units will be destroyed anyway. Hurrah! So that is... Um, Brussels secured with minimal loss of life. And let's push back a couple of units of French, of the French army. So now, obviously, these guys are a bit depleted. Um, but what we're probably going to do now is take... Okay, I, I, I doubt they'll let me push up. One I would like, which to be honest, we're not that depleted. And they have a lot of like gendarmerie. It's not great cavalry, neither carabiner. They have got some cuirassier and some good infantry, but a good block of its light infantry, which is easy to kill. We got a good amount of cavalry to clear out their artillery. So if, as long as I've got my this army under Reyes in position, the Paris garrison can sally and hit Etienne Joseph Josephet because we'll have the infantry and reinforcements and then we can push them away from Paris then we'll have to get back in because these guys might be en route but this has gone pretty well I think so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for a battle outside the gates of Paris cheers everyone <laughs>